night, many Australians woke with a sense of impending doom to a blood red sky, high winds, and dust. Meteorologists are saying there has never been a phenomenon like it. But is it just the start of things to come? Uh, it's crazy. It's awesome. It's really crazy. Is the world coming to an end? It's pretty surreal. I woke up this morning, I felt I was in Mars. Earthquakes in Melbourne, an orange dawn in Sydney, and this blanket of choking dust. No ferries, no planes. Is it the end of the world? No, but it's pretty spooky. Have you seen your car lately? Um, yes, I have. It needs clean. Around Australia, the elements are threatening to disrupt our lives. But as natural phenomena go, their bark is worse than their bite, as our team around the country discovers. Here in Melbourne, well, the air is as clear as a bell. But that doesn't mean that Mother Nature missed us completely. In fact, thousands of residents in suburbs southeast of the city reported that the earth moved for them overnight. And guess what? They were right. And all of a sudden there was this loud bang and all my ornaments shook, the microwave shook. Nola Brennan's chandelier danced like this. Her walls are proof she wasn't imagining things. 20 kilometres away, Dave Russell got this earthquake's message loud and clear. It actually sounded like there was a semi-trailer coming across the curbs here and smacked straight into the wall. Up here in Brisbane, with hot, dry and windy conditions, the only thing we were afraid of this morning was the increasing threat of bushfires. But by midday, it hit. The dust which had swamped Sydney had now enveloped much of southeast Queensland. From this lookout, you can normally see miles out to sea. Today, you can't even see the city below. You can feel it in your lungs, like, totally, like, really hurts kind of thing. It's really hard to breathe and all coughing all day today. Knocked off work early so we can come up in, visit the dust. In isolation, any of these events make news. Put them all together. Tornadoes, hail and storms in South Australia, the earthquake in Melbourne, Sydney and, yes, Canberra's dust storm, and Queensland's fires are now its own dust deluge, and it's a story that opens eyes worldwide. City waking up to a red haze. It's an enormous... But spare a thought for Broken Hill, whose own apocalyptic vision made everyone else's look tame. Oh, my gosh. I think we better go outside, Ted. Yeah. Oh, that is horrible. It's just gone completely black. I can't even see anything on the camera. Now, the Melbourne earthquake is a standalone event, but much of the rest is the result of simple, explainable weather patterns. So it's uh, really hundreds of kilometres long and probably about 150 to 200 kilometres wide. We were very surprised when we first saw that this morning at just how big it was. The Weather Channel's Dick Whittaker says, says the satellite photo from the Bureau of Meteorology proves that a monster has come calling. I've never seen a storm of that nature in Sydney, a dust storm. That's the most severe one I've seen. It is very exciting because this is our research field. Um, Dr Craig Strong is a dust watcher at Griffith University. He's even weighed this monster. It's mind-blowing to think that we can move that amount of sediment, you know, around 4.8, 5 million tonnes of sediment, within 24 hours... We just pick it up from the arid areas and then we just take it off and or dump it off in the ocean. So what did we do that was different today? Some simply took photos. Others, like world-renowned psychic Simon Turnbull, stayed home and listened to that wind. These are very strange times. But not so much for Simon. Being a psychic, he knew all along this was going to happen. Well, that's right, but that just shows the power of, the, uh, uh, you know, the, of our particular solar system. Now, the fact that the, the planets at some major distance from us can actually affect our small neck of the woods. Simon says if you reckon all this is a bit of a worry, wait three more years when you may be blown away, literally. Uh, it's not going to be anything like 2012, where, you know, the end of the Mayan calendar sort of disappeared off the edge of the Earth. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen after that, apparently. There are always going to be winners and losers, and the losers are obviously our farmers and graziers who've done their topsoil. The winners? Well, the people who own car washers, and of course, the window cleaners. It's a bonanza.